like for example she's big ass pop because we don't have a clock outside when we're swimming and I have no idea what time it is. The block set this is mainly for Chloe. I was not expecting it to be such a pretty blush colour so very impressed with that. I can't wait to show Lucas. I think he's going to be a little bit shocked by the pink. <laughs> but And white socks is really good too. It has been a day already. I am already so exhausted. It's only just one o'clock and we've been in town all morning. So I've got Chloe with me at the moment. Ari's is at school today and we have had to go into town and do some stuff this morning. I've just run errands. And it's also my niece's 16th birthday. So shout out to Miss Lily if you're watching. Happy 16th birthday. Lily's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Lily. That's not Lily, darling. That's a camera. So YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> so I needed to get, yeah, like I said, get some stuff in town today. But I went mainly to Kmart because I needed to get my niece birthday present. And there was actually, there was a few things that I needed to get like for example this big ass clock because we don't have a clock outside when we're swimming and I have no idea what time it is so may as well jump straight in and show you what I got for outside which is like I said a big, big clock so Mom, it's it's yeah okay. there's a big excavator across the road so Chloe's pretty excited about that he's driving so we've got a big white clock and yeah. it's just got like this whitewash sort of trim of timber Wally. around the edge. Wally. Wally. And yeah, so I'm going to put that out on the wall out there somewhere. It's just nice and white and big so we'll be able to see. And then we picked up... Oh, it's my nugget. Yeah, it's good my girl. Nugget. Yes. Then we picked up this little white vase because I still have heaps of room on my floating shelves. I also picked up a little pink vase, I'll insert a clip, Mama. of what I picked up for Chloe's room. It's a really pretty little pastel pink vase and it's got a few little palms in it that I put in myself. Um, I just seen that vase there and I thought it was really nice for her room because I didn't actually have a vase to decorate in there um, as yet. So we did that one hey, and it looks Ari, good. So like I said, I'll put the picture in. Ari. That is Ari's, yep. And Ari and Chloe got a present. Can I have a look, Chloe? Good girl. They got a little ball. So it's a bouncy ball. So Ari got the blue one and it's got a happy little smiling face. And then Chloe got the yellow confused face. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the yellow one. You like the yellow. And then the kids also picked up, well, I picked up some stuff for the kids, which was a little art smock. So Chloe's got the green, Ari's got the blue. I'll show you what it's like because I pulled it out just so I could see what it's like in the shop. So it's long sleeve and it's like a decent length too. So it's got a little Velcro clip at the back and it's Mom, got a tie it's as well. In, so it's nice and sturdy. Mum, it's taken in the digger. Yeah. So it's nice and sturdy. That way when they are wanting to do some painting, it's we have some painting protection. Do you need to go to the toilet, darling? We'll go to the toilet? No. Then we'll come back? No. And we're back we just had to do a quick uh, toilet break uh, we also picked up this little block set this is mainly for Chloe she likes to play like a little um, castle block sort of builds I noticed that the kids are gravitating to that sort of stuff um, pardon you want to come back up here okay then we also picked up this little magnetic fishing game this is something that I've seen at um, the little sprockets little uh, sporting stadium that they do, they do kids events. Um, they incorporate this sort of stuff in with the little. So the kids really like that. They like, used to sit down all the time and play with that. So I thought I'd give that one a go because I usually have that little um, plastic fishing set and it's actually a little bit tricky for them at their age. So that would be great because it's a little hand eye coordination. Coordination? Coordination. Then I picked up this cute little um, nesting animals. It's so cute. I had these when I was little, except I had them as the little, the little ladies, the little dolls, like with the cute little um, like hairpiece. Oh, anyway, um, I can't. I think can't think of what they're called, but they are so cute. So this comes with a kangaroo, a koala, a parrot, and a platypus, and it's seriously the cutest thing. Chloe's been playing with it. So she's pulled it all apart, but you'll get the gist. So this is a little kangaroo and it's got its joey in its pouch. You just open it up and it's just like an empty little 
um, wooden case, but then it comes with like the other sizes inside. So they all like bank up. So it's so cute, little koala. And then the parrot. And then it comes with like a little baby platypus, which, where's the platypus, Chloe? Okay. Then it's got a little baby platypus. It's super, super, super cute. I thought that the kids would love that because I enjoyed my little, um, little timber ladies when I was little and I thought it was the cutest thing. So I want their kids to share this one. So that's how it comes. Super cute little animals. And then I got these little Velcro strips. This is just a temporary little um, thing that I want to put in Ari's room. So he's got an artwork that I really want to put behind his bed, but I don't know how long I'm going to keep his bed in that spot for, but for now it's going to be there for a little while. So I wanted to not put any nails in the wall like I had in Chloe's room. So this one is going to be a temporary fit for Ari. Then I've got some shorts for Chloe because the kid just won't wear long pants. I don't know why. I bought two shorts. They're just little bike pants, a black pair, and then just some army green ones. And what else did I get? I think I have showed you everything that I got. If I missed anything, I will insert a clip of whatever I purchased, but I need to go and get um, a move on because I've only got so much time today, being that it's um, Lily's birthday, we have to go out for dinner tonight. So I also need to pick Ari up from school. So we're gonna get a move on. We're gonna do, put these things away. And oh, I've also got something very exciting to show you guys. I previously purchased a cooking set that I had been looking out for for such a long time. So it's right behind me. I have only just started to open it. So I'll open it with you guys. That way you can see what I have purchased. So this company is called Ritual Unions. Ritual, rich, ritual Unions, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I love this color when I seen it. It's very unique. It's not everyone's cup of tea. I, don't, I didn't actually tell Lucas that I was buying <laughs> this specific color, but bam, how beautiful is that? It's so pretty. I actually thought it might've been a little bit darker, but I love that color. So bloody pretty. It's a really soft blush pink color. So I will unpack it all and then I'll show you guys at the end. here she is I am pretty impressed with this color I was not expecting it to be such a pretty blush color on the website it just looked a little bit more of a coral so I'm very impressed with the coloring and it's super heavy really really good quality and I really like the little brand that they've got on the back there I think that's a nice little touch but it is really great quality and it's compatible to all bench tops and that's why I got it because we got the induction so I'm really Really happy to be able to have gotten a nice cookware that I have always wanted. So something a bit funky with a bit of color. Um, so we've got a 24 centimeter saucepan with a lid. And then that one's just a 20 centimeter, a 20 centimeter stock pot with lid. And then we've got this little would be a 20 centimeter fry pan. And then we've got a um, 20 centimeter pan. Is that right? Yeah. So this one's 24, that one's 20. So obviously quite different in sizing. Um, perfect sizing though, because I'll be cooking with all of these at probably the same time because I like to do different things at different times. So very impressed with that. I can't wait to show Lucas. I think he's gonna be a little bit shocked by the pink, <laughs> but I think he will like the quality of it. So that's what I'm pressed about. So if you guys are interested, this is the brand. Ritual Unions and I will update you guys on how it cooks but I've heard great things so I am very impressed so far. I just thought I'd mention that it came really well um, packed as well so it came in this 
huge box and then it came with all of these bags that's how they were all wrapped as you would have seen me unwrapping them so these black bags have kept them nice and sturdy and then they had this this little level in there to keep them nicely um, packed away so yeah like I said very impressed with the quality and the packaging and yeah I'll update you guys on how it goes work a little bit earlier today it is just after three so I've done all my washing and I've done the dishwasher and all the things so I'm actually going to show you guys one of my parcels that I got delivered this morning pretty excited about it I can't actually remember everything that I ordered but um, coming into winter we need to stock up on some of the um, track suits and stuff so this is my white fox boutique um, order end up picking up a pair of socks so I wanted to get a pair of these white high top socks because I haven't actually got any and I just like the little white tops white tops white fox little logo that it has on it and I could imagine these are pretty good quality because all of the white box quality products are great and I was going to wear these to the gym and then we also I also got a couple of tops uh, this one is just like a cropped rib top. I do plan to wear it to the gym, but I don't actually know if it's actually going to... How do I open it? It feels, yeah, actually like a quality top that I could actually wear to the gym. So this is just the little white cropped top that's got the White Fox Boutique logo on top. So I plan to wear this to um, the gym. I got it in an XL. I'm assuming it's gonna be the right size. It's nice and stretchy, so it should be great. Um, yeah, so it feels like a really nice material. It's the rib. I also got it in the black, and just, I like my neutral colors. I do like a little bit of color here and there with um, my clothing, but just all in all, I like to get a bit of black and white, so I can wear these casually as well, but I didn't actually have any of these um, cropped style tops. I like the high cut on these tops. So when I'm at the gym, I like the high cuts. And then I also got a black track suit, which I'm pretty excited about because I don't actually have a black hoodie. I've been wanting a black hoodie for a while now. And I really like the print on this one. I thought it was really cool. So it's got the White Fox Boutique logo on the back and white box white fox 
projects it is. So that was just one of the um, collections that they brought out. So there's got a little logo at the front. And I got it in an XL. I actually don't know if I needed an XL. It looks quite big, but I'm sure it would be great. And I also got them in the black pants because to be honest with you, I don't have any match matching tracksuits. And I thought that they would be really nice because I've been liking the matching um, tracksuits at the moment. So that's just got the little logo there, the white box projects. Five. feels really good quality I really like that they're like oversized even though they're an XL they're really really nice and um, spacious so and then I also picked up the grey trackies so I have this jumper in the grey and it's the green logo in the white box so that was volume 3 that was a different range that they bought out also in an XL so this is the jumper that I bought the track is to match so it's got the logo on the front and then also the back and it's probably one of my favorite jumpers that I wear it's just super soft and fleecy on the inside a really nice size hoodie not tight loose and I do believe yes I got the XL so that one fits me perfectly so I know these are going to fit too I'm going to give these a try on now and let you guys know what I think Okay, so I have the black crop on with the black trackies and it is so not the weather to be wearing track pants. <laughs> not today anyway, it's so hot. But I wanted to try them for sizing. So these fit really comfortable. They're really quite stretchy, super, super thick and like really warm. So if you're wanting like a really thick fleece for winter, these are perfect. They're nice high rise if you want them to be high or you can put them down low if you want to. But I like mine up high because it just keeps me nice and warm and yeah they're not a really nice length i'm not the tallest person but definitely got a nice bit of a length in the pants that's your little logo and they like this crop really like the crop it's really quite um, flexy and then also it's probably i wish it was just a little bit longer um i do have my black stacks crop underneath so it's literally the same length so I don't know if it's for reference for other girls who have bigger busts, but this crop feels like an actual crop top for me because this is literally the crop top underneath and then that's the top. So it's literally the same length, but it's really nice. I like the way it feels. It fits really nice and I'm sure the uh, white one's going to be nice too, but I don't have a white crop. So um, I've got a light cream top crop so I'm going to try that one on with it just to see but it does actually go a little bit longer so uh, I'll try it on anyway for reference mate I am sorted for winter this tracksuit is the warmest thing I have ever worn Whew, it's quite hot in it actually like I said it's not the best day to be trying on tracksuits um, but yeah this is what it looks like all together it's so comfy an easy um, tracksuit to be able to wear just casually you can wear it out if you want but I will be definitely lounging around the house in this and just in general I feel like I'm roasting in it but that's how warm it is so whew, it's definitely a lovely black super great quality and very happy with it don't mind my marks on my mirror this is actually um, a mirror that my dad made for me so it's actually got like it's actually an old mirror so it's actually all of that I can't actually clean off it's like marks so if you're wondering why my mirror is weirdly marked I'll try my white top on okay so now I have the white crop and the light gray trackies on the trackies are different to the black so the pockets at the front are different so you've got like this square cut out the other ones do have pockets they're just inside the pants so you can't actually see the pocket print so these fit pretty much exactly the same. The black ones probably, to be honest with you, feel a little bit thicker. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the design of them. They look the same other than the pockets, but these ones feel a little bit, I don't know, um, thinner, I guess, but they're still really hot, really thick. Once again, really good for winter. And white crop is really good too. Like I said, I've got my light, it's like a torpy sort of, um, stacks crop underneath. I don't have a white one, so 
probably going to have to get one because you can see it's slightly underneath my top but that's fine i really like the crop tops glad i got these i like i said i got all of this on sale so the 25 percent sale i believe anyway i know that the jumper is still available online so that's why i got the trackies because i thought um that they would pair nicely i'm going to try the jumper on just so you can see what they look like together okay so this is the jumper and i have been wearing it so it's a little dirty but i feel like they pair nicely together once again it is so warm really really warm so if you're wanting a warm tracksuit definitely recommend if you're wanting a thin tracksuit probably not it is the warmest tracksuit i have ever worn but i'd say it's obviously the fleece um, that it's made of but it's so warm cozy and i feel very very snug in it so once my once again my favorite hoodie that i have this one black one's going to also be my favorite because it's exact same cut just a different logo still white fox but just a different series and like i said the pants are just a little bit different than the black as well so very very happy with my purchases and then yeah like i said i've got the socks as well they look super comfy so i'm pretty happy with my purchases. i'll link all of the things below so you guys can see what i got and like i said pretty much everything that i got are xls i average around about a 14 to 16 majority of the time i go 16 because i like to size up just for comfort and just for like a little bit of extra length so um i find that these are like hugging a fair bit around the bum and like the waist area but there's still a lot of stretch so i'll link everything below